It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back for some more Hearts of Iron, boys. How are we doing? Feeling good? I hope so. Here we go. We're going to be playing as Denmark today. Well, we're going to be making a Super Denmark. We are hopefully going to unify all of the Nordic countries. Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Finland to make the unified nation which has all the sweet cores. And we are going to be playing and doing it to begin with as Germany. Okay, so I'll... I'll Put a preface in it. I have not rehearsed this as heavily as I usually do with most series, but this is using a lot of cheesy exploits to come to a conclusion where we make a Scandinavia that's incredibly OP. Um, be aware, things may not go to plan, but that might be half the fun of it, right? You can do this with Iron Man turned on, but I am not going to do it in this instance. Boom. Let's grab all the divisions, pop them on the Danish border. We're going to go for Easy Rhineland. We are going to build a few mills. Maybe, should I say? Our key states. Work on the standard electronics as well as industry. And. We're going to work on artillery as well. Good. Make an absolute crap ton of artillery. Do we need the tanks? Nah. Don't need those. Don't need those. Don't need those. Can make a few of those. That looks good. Boom. Excellent. Let us go. So this is uh, using the strategy where you flip to different nations um, by annexing them and releasing them. And I I thought I'd take this to a new level of extreme where I just do it and basically break the game. <laughs> this would be uh, this would be really interesting. I don't know. It's going to be one of those ones where you like. I didn't really think you come to that conclusion or it'd reach that goal at the end of the series. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to ruin it. But, if you watch and see, you'll be able to see some spicy things happening. My juicy ship's just sitting there. You know what? I'm going to start doing a little trivia question to get the comment section going. So, random trivia question. What was the heaviest ship by tonnage in World War II? The heaviest ship. Comment below if you know the answer to that question. Is our small nugget of World War II trivia. Do you know the answer? The largest ship. By tonnage in World War Two. Hmm. What could it be? So, first of all, we need to wait for Ryland to finish to get our big boost of political power. Is on our way. For ten days, and we're going to start our fabrications. We are going to fabricate on Denmark, and we are going to fabricate on Sweden. Boom. Done. Okay. Justify on three states. This should come to 375. Justify on one Danish. 340. As long as they're within a 30-day window, we can justify and annex them. So you declare war on them at exactly the same time. Is there anything right now that we could go for that's going to give us a benefit in the short run? I don't think there is. So I think we're just going to sit on political power. Alright, let's boost you. Let's boost you. Let's boost you. And let's boost you. Oh, not a coup! No, not a coup. A boost. There we go. All the boosts. Great, excellent. And we're not going to select a national focus, even though I'm itching to select one right now. And uh, one thing I could do as well is start building convoys. We'll max that up. Pop that on the top, and we'll get rid of all these because we need those. Actually, in that case, then let's make the Devil Dockyards because they're only 35 day focuses, so why not, right? Why not, right? All right, good. So, the plan is this. We are going to fabricate and annex Denmark and Sweden. We're going to build as many factories inside them as possible. But with Denmark, because we're going to switch to Denmark, we are going to make them a puppet. And when we make them a puppet, we can not only build more factories inside of them, but we can also give them a lot of equipment. And with all the equipment that Germany produced, <laughs> we are going to send it to Denmark. So we are going to make a super OP Denmark. This is going to be so broken. So I've only semi-tested this. I did it one or two times just to see if when you send equipment to a puppet and then release them later on, whether you step, still kept the equipment. And you do. So in that case, I was like, hmm. In that case, let's see if I can take this to the next extreme level. For you. Go for reorganization first. Good. 
Um, there's a few naval bombers in here. We've got the transports and the naval bombers. Good. We are importing tungsten, which I don't need to do at the moment. We are going to get a crap ton of that from Sweden anyway. So for now, that is good to go. We have to wait a total of 375 days. So it is a wee bit of a wait. We'll go for the more David dot yards. Why not? Oh, marching music. Oh, damn, boys. You know, you guys love marching music, right? We're going to rush artillery. We are going to rush disperse industry. No, we're not. We're going to rush concentrated. Because uh, I've just realized that we are going to produce a lot of same tier guns from the vast majority of the game. But in that case, it's probably going to be better off if we just stick with uh, concentrated. So if anyone doesn't know, the calculations have been done for disperse versus concentrated. Concentrated is only worthwhile if you produce the same guns for the vast majority of the game. If you switch production lines from a newer version of a gun, artillery piece, or a tank, or open more production lines, you are better off with Disperse Industry. But if you choose to play the game and just have only I guess, basic, basic guns, I suppose, for the entire game, I guess China would be applicable for that. Maybe India as well. I guess maybe some other other the smaller nations as well because you could be just producing one kind of equipment. If it's a multiplayer game, you could get imported guns from the UK, and then um, I don't know. South Africa make nice tanks. Canada can make nice tanks, so they can just focus on making those tanks for the entire game. That's the only time when it is applicable. Does anyone disagree with me? Please tell me in the comments below, and then I'll completely ignore your comments. <laughs> I'm just joking. I read all the comments. Maybe I do. Okay, great. So we've got our naval dot yards. Pop those on the bottom. Naval convoys are really good to produce in mass. I think we'll stick with that. They're really good to produce in mass convoys because they uh, they they make a big impact on um, changing autonomy when you when you're sending them to puppet states. In that case, that's what I want to do. Okay, let me just have a think about this for a second. So, free trade is what we want to do because that's going to give us the boost to construction speed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We are attempt to going to do the trick where you do four-year plan and then you get the two boosts for construction. So in that case, we are... Oh my god, Republican. Holy moly. Yeah, we're going to do the boost where you get the two... Uh, <clears throat> the rushes for concentrated industry or disperse, whatever. Whatever does your fancy. Plan Z gives an extra two naval dot yards and a boost of text. Oh, but then so does u bow effort. Hmm. Okay, in that case, I think I might go for you, but effort. No, actually, I'm not. I'm going to sit on the political power because we do need lots of political power early on. So make sure you keep your beef for bills because that reduces your consumer goods. And that's pretty much all it does, really. So that's all we're going to be focusing on. Man, that was a really quick civil war. That usually can be a bad thing as well because... If you're justifying and it gets over 25% world tension, that can cause later problems, so... Something to be aware of, particularly with Japan, too. Japan wants to go for Marco Polo right now. It'd spike over 25% world tension, and then Denmark and Sweden would get guaranteed by the UK or France or both. So when can you go for the next, uh... Industrial four-year plan? You can do it once you've got 60 days left of... This one. I so technically should have done it now. Never mind. Okay. Let me just think about that for a second. So we've got 20 days left on concentrated. Yeah, so I could do that now. Yeah, okay. Oh, Dave. Come on. Come on. Keep up. I'm, I'm, I'm going through these uh, industries and tech so quickly. I'm not losing track, boys. I am looking to get a CPU upgrade for uh, Hearts of Iron 4. If any of you guys have ever got a new CPU, like a really high-end one, let me know if you've seen any kind of impact on how quick Hearts of Iron 4 is. Because if it doesn't make any worthwhile impact, I'm really not going to bother. I'm thinking of getting an i9-9900K. I'm thinking about getting that one because the single core performance is very, very high. Which is what Hearts of Iron 4 relies on. Let me comment below, guys, if you think that's going to be worthwhile. Let me know. 
Because uh, I seriously, if I'm only going to get like less than 5% extra speed out of it, it's not even going to be that worthwhile. Raptor of guns, that's good. Having a really hard time with oil. We will maybe import it at some point, I don't know, we'll see. Right now with the convoys, 35%, that's insane. Just shows our lack of oil. We are basically none. All your plan, and we are going to go for the extra civvies. It's concentrated too. That's good. Right now, we need the political power. We can go for war economy once the world tension gets spiked, which is very soon. And keeping an eye on you. We're going to go for Cost of Prosperity, then Marco Polo, and we have 94%. Alright, so that's good. We can time these to go ahead and activate immediately. Remember, it's the 30-day window. As long as the two fabrications happen and occur and finish within that time window, we'll be fine. I just realized the reason why we lack political power is because we're boosting so heavily, isn't it? I just wondered, like, hang on a sec, why have I not selected any of my focuses? Well, that's the reason why. So we need to wait for these to finish at the same time. If we look closely, this will expire for Denmark on the 15th of April. And this will expire on the 21st of March. So it will finish on the 21st of March. So we can, what it means is we can mix them finish and simultaneously sync them up. We can do that. The good news is when we take out Denmark and Sweden, we're going to have a lot of excess political power because we're not going to be influencing them. And we might still influence them just to get 100% for uh, Denmark. Otherwise. So we're going for the civvies once again. There we go. We've finished both of them now. We're both activated. We're going to attach them all onto you. And then we're going to uh, attack you. And we are going to attack you. Is there anything I've forgotten about? I don't think I have. I'm relatively happy with that. Let's go. Got a few of you boys here, so I want you to uh, go here. And they all seem to land on you, they always seem to do that too. Uh, you can grab a few tanks and just pull them back. Always seem to do this. One of you go here, and then the other two go here. Oh no, they are actually doing what I thought they would. Here. Pick that dude's up. They always take East pressure as well, but I'm totally cool with it. Oh my god, AI, why do you always do this? AI always does this. Alright, go. We make military factories instead of Jutland. Good. We've killed those dudes off. You guys are gonna go here. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, ba. Nice. Got him, boys. Out of supply, you say? Their mark's fallen. I was gonna uh, pop it then, but we'll do that when the war's over. Make the military factories in there. Sometimes Iceland declares independence, but sometimes they don't always do anyway. I don't know. Seems kind of random. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I oh, know. Okay, I thought you guys were overrun, but I guess not. Boom, done. Once again, if I don't keep an eye on the AI, they will do their own thing, as they always do. Alright, go here. Ships have got damaged. We'll move back up here. Gonna move, boys? That's it, good. Go, go, go! Alright, more economy, we can't do that yet. But we can do Captain of Industry, so we should do that one now. Go, go, go. Oh, I thought we could break through there, but we can't. Tried. Give it a shot. Oh, Swedish Navy putting up a big fight here. Doesn't really matter what happens with our Navy, anywho. We're gonna make lots of civvies inside of uh, 
Holy Den. I'll pop that there just to remember that these are the ones we're working on. These are the ones inside of Germany. Need something to remember it by. Storming through Sweden now. Everything is going to plan. Concentrator 3 is now on its way. That means we can build loads of extra mills inside of key areas, which is ideal. More inside of Sweden at the moment. Oh, Sweden cl collapsed a lot quicker than I thought it would. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Pop that to the top. Here. Good. So Latland's a really good province. It's only got four infrastructure to begin with, but look at all these resources it's got. So loads of extra steel, loads of extra tungsten. Really worthwhile for the artillery production. Yes. Are we all good? I think we are all good. So in that case, let's start releasing Denmark. We're going to uh, release them. The puppet. Uh, there was a moment of thought there. Could you hear that? You put your put your ear close enough to your speakers then, guys. You may have actually heard Dave thinking. Doesn't happen very often, but I hope you enjoyed that. It resets all the production, and then we have to rebuild it. Okay. Build the infrastructure as well. So we need to do this for them to maximize the production. Maybe we should do a little bit of both. Okay, so we finished that. We're going to go for more civvies once again. We're going to lose our MIFO builds in a second. But we can go for war economy when we get the option. We're still boosting. Is there any point of continuing to boost Denmark? I'm wondering if it is. We've lost our MIFO builds. Basically just means our economy now goes to a halt. Yeah, we've only got uh, an extra 25 civvies. Japan is about to declare. That's interesting. Can't do our boosting at the moment because we've got no political power. Curious to see what they've gone for. And they've gone for Liberty Focus. Oh, that sucks. They seem to do that in most games anyway. There's not a lot you can do about it. So it, let's just say there's two possibilities. They can either go for Liberty Focus and Deterrence. Deterrence is pretty good because you get 20% extra production on military factories, which isn't too bad. But they've literally gone for the worst focus as well. The one that gives extra political power and volunteer. Volunteers that you can send. It so sucks. Ideally, you want militarism because then you get all those sweet manpowers. But in this world, this alternative reality, we're not going to be able to uh, do that. I think for now, I'm just going to delete these, actually. So I can remember what is what. Okay, remind me to come back to that. Right now, we desperately need political power. This is going to give us extra civvies. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that gives us a boost in the short term. I guess this one's going to be pretty good for the 10% infrastructure production. And one thing I've forgotten to do as well. I forgot to start sending stuff to uh, Denmark. Oh, marching music! Way, yes. Okay. Denmark, send lend lease, send you 500 convoys monthly, give you all the fighters. I'm going to send 000. zero, zero. Hmm. Ah. 100 of those, 1,000 of those, 1,000 uh, of those. Tanks, 10,000 guns. 5,000 of those. Perfect. I think we're good now. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. We disband our entire army. <laughs> this strat is so broken. So remember, if you weren't paying attention at the start of the video, this works in Iron Man. That's right, all this funky stuff that I'm doing right now, it works in Iron Man. <laughs> that's so insane, right? Yep, that's right. And we're going to disband the axis as well. 
This is the uh, this rabbit. Don't forget, I also turned historical on as well. So this is the most wonkiest historical game ever. I don't know what to take from this video, to be honest with you. I think some of the things I do in these videos, they're they're so broken that I I wouldn't ever want to play the game and do these certain things because I just feel like I don't know. I just feel like I'm not playing legitimately. Does that make sense? When does the MIFO bills run out? MIFO bill payments, September. Okay, soon. Okay, so we need war economy because we need to start churning out considerably more production and we need to re reduce consumer goods by an extra 5%. I wonder if I could have gone for... No, I couldn't because I, could, I wouldn't have got enough world um, enough war support to go for total mob. When that drops off, we should have a production now of a total of 30, 45, an extra 7. Holy damn. 42, isn't it? Have I added that up wrong? 30, 45, 53, 52, 53? Yeah. A lot of production. Good. I realise too that I'm building these in kind of the wrong order. It doesn't actually matter in, on all fairness, but I think military factories first over making infrastructure is probably going to be more worthwhile. We can reduce the autonomy of our good boy Denmark. Good boy. We are going to need lots of political power too, because remember it costs 300 political power to annex a puppet. A few people on my Iran series asked me why I didn't puppet Iran uh, when I was Afghanistan. And the reason why is because it just costs so much political power to annex. In this instance, it's a good idea because we could do this fancy trick that I'm doing right now where you can feed it full of guns. I actually think that making the infrastructure probably isn't that worthwhile. So let's drop all these down to one. Just remember, their national focus, they get to make lots of infrastructure as well. So it makes me wonder if that's even worthwhile. Remember, guys, this is not 100% rehearsed like I normally do. A lot of winging this as we go. Okay, good. So that thinks if we're not focused that heavily on infrastructure, this is not even going to benefit, so I'm not going to bother. I've just had a thought. Hmm, that just creeped into my head. Oh my god, I'm getting all these great ideas here, boys. All the spiciest of ideas. This is probably going to break the game, but fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've gone this far, right? Alright, so working on that very, very nicely. The next shipment we send to them will be on 26 days, okay. We are making more industrialists, so we should technically go for that, shouldn't we? We could go for electronics. I think war industrialists is better for now because the production is very... Factory intensive, yeah it is. We build more military factories, that's insane. So Denmark's a very tricky nation to play. It has a lot of issues with resources, manpower, but it has some really good advisors. I wouldn't have selected the attrition guy. Uh, Captain is just pretty good. I need to be saving political power right now, so I can't spend any more. I think that's probably the last one we're going to select. That was the electronics, wasn't it? Do we rush the next electronics? It's probably too late now. Really nothing that we need, so that's not helpful. Oh, thanks for those three divisions, dude. And they're gone. 21 days. Okay. Does this give political power? It doesn't. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, let's do it. This is such a, this is such a broken strat. 1.2 million. Oh, Dave. You are going to hell for this. What the hell for this? <laughs> okay. 
Don't select. Don't select them. Don't select anything. Jeez, dude, come on. Don't click. See the icon on the top of the screen? It's like a, a, a knee-jerk reaction. I have to click it. I have to click it. Once we get 300 political power, then we start spending political power again. Well, not spending it, but using it for boosting and whatnot. Okay. Oh, look at all this manpower, boys. What the hell's going on? Oh, you give him more division. That's so sweet. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. I'm oh, having supply problems now. That's good. All right. So we have a choice right now. We can wait for this to finish, but then we're kind of pushing it too late. I don't think it really matters, to be honest with you, because if the world's in chaos and we're still doing what we need to do, I think it's all good. Give the 300 PPs, my dude. Give me my PPs. I'm wondering if boosting Denmark is even worthwhile. Because all, all it's going to give me is more stability, isn't it? The Swedes on Yugoslavia. Hmm. All right, we're at 300 now. Hang on a minute. Did we just get some free political power from some? Oh, actually, to delete these boys. Because I remember we just send them to our North Sea Empire as well. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, boys. And if you're probably new to my channel, you're probably watching this video and thinking, What the hell is he doing? What is this? Feedback gaming is a. Alright, unfortunately it is a bit of a waiting game to begin with, but we are making progress. Almost close to annexing Denmark, which is good. Built most of our civvies, we're not going to build all of them, but most of them will do. We are going to make a... Oh, actually, there's something else, something else I've forgotten. We could... Um, that as well. There's only one anyway. Can't convert inside puppets. I only realized that they only other the other. The... <clears throat> okay, I've actually thought of something else as well. I feel like this is like the, the ultimate series where I just literally make things up on the fly. And in that case, if I'm going to go with the plan that's in my head right now, I don't want to select another national focus. We're not building inside and that's why that isn't dropping, but the next time we send another shipment, that'll drop down to zero. 18 days. So to do the plan that I'm thinking of, Delete all of you. We drop down to disarm station. <laughs> oh god. You guys are thinking, what is he doing? What is he doing? He just deleted the navy as well. This guy's a madman. <laughs> yes. 
pretty mad. Template we got left. What's the shittiest template we've got? Go with a lot of reconnaissance anti-air and. I think there's probably a few people in the comment section right now that actually do know what I'm doing right now. And you're probably thinking, God damn, you are dirty. You are literally going to go to hell for this. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not sure this leads onto any achievements, but the, I guess on the positive side, it's going to make a very strong Denmark. So, maybe that's what you're into. Maybe that's your thing. How long we gonna left? Another so and so days. Next seven days. In that case, now we've got loads in storage, so we'll just send a shipment. Just need to wait until three hundred political power, then we can uh, go from there. Hmm, Finland's a bit more stubborn, aren't they? They don't seem to be moving as quick. Is that have they got some kind of defense against that? Um, there we go, we can annex as the Denmark. And we delete all those divisions, delete the navy. Um then we Is there anything else we should do before we leave? Delete all the <laughs> Oh man, I'm going to hell for this. We delete all of their existing production lines, so we have to reset all their production efficiency. You can turn to making infrastructure and whatnot, that's cool with that. We've got divisions just floating in the middle of nowhere. They still got 1.63 million, even their own, their own disarmed nation. Maybe this won't work then, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, let's release Sweden. And we are going to release the North Sea Empire, but we are going to play as them. And that is the end of the first episode guys has that not messed with your head what i've just done remember what i've just done so far is all iron man compatible <laughs> you can do all of this in iron man <laughs> i know right if you've enjoyed this episode remember to like and to subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes and i will see you guys on the next one have an awesome day see you soon Bye bye